Stewart, Florida today, and this is day three of Warp Non-Surgical. And today we're going to learn the rib cage and kidney treatments. And first we're going to go over uh, a talk about it, and then we're going to go over a little demonstration, and then we're going to get to work, everybody. Okay. So, um, when you, when you discuss this treatment first of all you're going to do you're going to understand that we have an hour to do this treatment so we're putting the pa the client the patient in three positions so if we divide the time we're going to spend 20 minutes on this side 20 minutes on the side in the fetal position and then 20 minutes laying uh, supine which is face up so and that can be adjusted guys so like you're going to ask your client like where do you feel your damage? Where's the restriction? If they just want their ribs opened up, you're gonna keep everything even. So it'll be like five minutes face to face, five minutes face to side, five minutes face to feet, five minutes face to side. But it, like she said, it's 20 minutes per position. So 20 minutes prone, 20 minutes fetal, 20 minutes supine. But if my client comes in and they're like, oh, I just get like a lot of restriction, I feel like it's coming from the side a little bit into the front. I might only do 10 minutes while she's in prone position on that back section just to open it up, get it kind of cus uh, like touching the surrounding area of where it's attaching to. Then I'm going to follow along those ribs and focus a little bit longer more so in fetal and pr supine position because I don't need to keep everything even. That's not exactly where the problem is. So everything is adjustable, but we want to keep everything perfectly even while we learn this. So it's going to be 20 minutes exactly per position. Okay, so we always start with the airplane landing effleurage massage. So we're going to come in and we have the uh, coconut oil and we're going to get them used to it. We, you know, we're going to go in the area. It's very bony. It's really sensitive too. And very, like, very sensitive. When you start working and your elbow's on there, you're going to see a lot of people flinching. Yes. Okay, so you need to be aware and pay attention to uh, your client who is be in pain or you know have a little twinge so you know sometimes you just, yeah, just watch their body language so we want to go easy warm them up and then we're going to start so the kidney the, sweep the first thing is is we're going to do the kidney sweep which we're going to start in here and we're going to go all the way up and then we're going to pull it back and she can grab her forearm at her wrist with her other hand to apply more pressure as she rotates and flushes through that kidney area. Also be aware that when you're doing this, you need to have a little bit more coconut oil. Yeah, because you want to glide gonna, along. Yeah, you're not going to be able to go along, so you have that. Okay? After we do that, if you notice the sensitivity, then that's where we're going to go over the kidney a little bit. We'll just do a little bit of, uh, you know, non-surgical and get them acclimated to that. And then we're going to start working the rib, um, from the base of the ribs into the uh, base of the inferior point of the scapula. So if you're not sure, we can always get them to lift it up and then the scapula comes up. And then we're going to go, you're going to have to feel a lot of fingers here to really feel where the ribs are at. So once we gauge where we're going, then we're going to be face to face. Exactly. And we're going to be starting to work. And we call it washboard at the beginning because her ribs are coming out a little bit on an angle. You can see like the way Debbie's fingers are almost sitting is the angle of her ribs. Right. And everybody's ribs are different. So and so you really out. have to feel their structure. Do they come a little bit more vertical? Do they come out to the side? And so she's going to start with washboard because there's like sh people, when you move too quick, when I restrict my breathing, we get all these little micro tears in between those ribs. We have our intercostal muscles. And then you can have that rooting of scar tissue coming over top of the rib cage and kind of restricting it a little bit. So this is what's going to open up that superficial t tissue buildup first before she goes face to side to scale along the rib and then go in between the rib on the intercostal muscles. So this is your area that you will be working. This is the washboard. You can go up, scoot over, come down, or you can work across to the ribs as long as we're covering each area, okay? So what she means there is we can take it in strips, up and down, exactly what she was meaning, coming up per section, or you can just kind of work more side to side as you work your way down and up. So covering the whole area, you can strip it up and down or work side to side. There's no right or wrong. It just kind of allow your elbow to kind of feel through it. Once we get down, once we get done with that, face to face, then we go face to side. 
So this we're going to start at the bottom of the, the last rib, and we're going to feel, and you're going to go right on top of that rib. Because you're not really going to be doing much on the floating rib. She has one rib right below that, and the floating rib is just kind of hanging out there. So you feel for the first main rib that's kind of prominent for you. And she's going to scale along that. So you need to kind of create another wedge with your fingertips to isolate that you're staying on top of the rib. And then we go up and down the rib. And then when we get done with that, we're going to move right over into the intercostal space. And then we go through the space. And we go all the way to the spine. Back, and we're going to work all the way up to the inferior point of the scapula. Once we're done with that, we will what? Flip around, go face to feet and face to side now. So before she pulled everything down and out, once again, now it's up and in. So we'll do the same thing from the base or from the bottom of the ribs to the base of the scapula. We're pulling face to feet on the washboard going up and then we're going to turn face to side and we're going to do the same thing remember you're at a little different angle now because the ribs are on this side at that point we're going to go in between it, each rib intercostal space each rib all the way up and down and then we're going to go ahead and do it an massage massage to finish off this segment here because that section is now done Anytime so also. Washboard, yes. You do that again? No, that's the sweep. That's the sweep. Washboard is kind of like. Washboard is where the ribs are hanging out like that, and you're working over multiple okay. ribs at a time. So it feels like you're almost washboarding the ribs. Remember when we just did the spine and we vertically worked on top of each vertebrae over the spinous process? It kind of felt like washboarding on underneath your elbow. Yeah. Same thing that's going to feel with the ribs. You just have a little bit more gapping in between. No, it's more of a superficial technique to release that tension that's built up on top to help us get in between when we do go face to side. Okay. Also, whenever I'm doing this treatment with a client, it's important if they get a little tense, we can stop a little effleurage massage even in between. Okay? It's not going to hurt to do that. Once we're done with this side, we're going to get the client onto her side into the fetal position so 